Hey everyone, what's going on? I am getting ready to head out to a mixer. This is for ILEA. Uh, it's a really cool little organization in San Antonio, but I want to say it's a national organization. I don't know a whole lot about it. I do know that they have been trying to recruit me to join, and a lot of the vendors in the wedding industry are a part of this, and they have nothing but wonderful things to say about it. So I'm definitely going to go and check it out. <laughs> Okay, so I just arrived at Freight. Um, this is where the ILEA mixer is going to be. ILEA is an organization, I believe it's nationwide, I think I mentioned that before, that are hosting this event. Um, Freight is the venue. Uh, it's a really cool space. It's located in South Flores, or what we call South Town, uh, which is a really fun artistic location in San Antonio that is super cool. I did a video before about another networking event that I went to, and um, it was so loud. It's loud here. There's a lot of wind. Hopefully this little guy that I have here on, on top, a little, little toupee that my camera has is what I like to call it. It looks like a little toupee. Um, <clears throat> hopefully it's, it's doing justice so that you can hear me clearly. Um, but I, I did want to mention that the last um, event that I did, I got a lot of comments, beautiful comments from everybody and questions about how, um, comments about how they get nervous at these events. Um, how to like talk to people things like that and so I'm going to hopefully try and mention some of those things today everyone kept saying how comfortable I was in front of the camera which thank you it's not easy um, I feel that it's easier to be in front of the camera when there's somebody there to talk to because it doesn't feel so foreign um, but I'm just starting to get a hang the hang of this and um, so it's it's just like going to these networking events. You don't know anybody. Um, so one tip I like to usually do is, um, for this particular event, I do know a lot of the people here because a lot of them are in the event industry that I work with closely. Um, but for those that maybe you go to a networking event and you don't know anybody there, somebody there does know somebody. These events don't just happen overnight. They plan them, they create um, you know, such a beautiful layout for everybody that somebody knows somebody there so what I would do is usually have like a sign-in area I would encourage you to go to the sign-in area introduce yourself there and let them know hey I don't know anybody at this event and I'm really trying to network this is what I do this is what I'm here for and they will usually help you and introduce you to people or else they have somebody there at the event that can kind of walk you around and introduce you to people that they feel might be a good connect for you. Um, so keep that in mind.
So I just wrapped up with the Ilea mixer and it was a great event. They do a lot of fun stuff, so I was mistaken. Um, but I didn't really know a whole lot about ILEA, so I'm really glad that I came today. It is an international organization, so there should be chapters in different parts of the US and all over the world. If you're watching this um, and you're in a different city or state, you can reach out to a local chapter and find out what they're doing in your chapter. This is a San Antonio chapter, and this is just one of the events that they've done. You've seen I've gone to other mixers, um, and they're different sizes. There are some that are really large, and there are some that are smaller. Some of the great things about this mixer and what Ilea specifically did, um, and every mixer is different, is that they played a game. So just like before, um, where they had a game that we play, we had like a scavenger hunt, or it's kind of like a bingo. Um, for Ilea today, what they did was, it was a rock, paper, scissors game. I said rock. <laughs> it was a rock, paper, scissors game. Everybody had to kind of like turn to their to their partner or to the person beside them and just like go at it like rock, paper, scissors. And whoever won, um, they were the one that went on to another person and the people that lost kind of like grouped with them and they cheered them on. They were their cheerleaders. So it was so fun. Everybody was laughing. Everybody was having a good time. And it really forced people just to like to talk to one another. My second tip for going to a networking event is bring business cards. Um, because I'm working this event, I don't like to carry a whole lot of stuff, so I have my camera bag, I've got my camera, I also have my vlogging camera, and I'm kind of walking around with a lot of things, but I still want to be able to network. And so what I do is I bring this little, this little envelope here, it's got some business cards. For an event like this, it wasn't a too big of an event, I'm able to carry my business cards, I put business cards of vendors that I met in the back, and I can even put a little note to myself on here if I wanted to about what vendor it was that I talked to. So if you're just starting out, you don't know how to network, um, or you're still just kind of learning, and you're very uncomfortable with meeting people, um, that this is a great thing. Just you want to just at least give them your card. Once you give them your card, this is like kind of like an icebreaker for you, so you can let them know like, hey, this is what I do. This is what I'm about. This is why I'm here today. Is this a service? Um, or a product that you need, whatever your business may be. My third tip, it is kind of understood and kind of expected, but really some people don't know about it, is to smile at events. I have big, beautiful dimples, I know they're cute. But when I'm not smiling, my face can look kind of mean and I don't really see why I'm very approachable. I've, I've heard a lot of people tell me this, once you meet me, you'll know I'm super happy as can be and very friendly and smiley. But it doesn't always look like that, especially when these events happen later on in the day. You've been working, you know, eight hours, ten hours, depending on how long you work. You're exhausted by the end of the day. You're exhausted by the time you get to these events. And so what I always encourage you to do is to smile, even if you don't feel like it. Even if you're not talking to anyone, as soon as you walk in, just put on that smile. Smile while you're talking. Smile while you're drinking, smile while you're eating, while you're approaching somebody. If you make eye contact with somebody, smile. Just try to keep that in the back of your head. You're just gonna come off a little bit more friendlier. People are gonna feel more inclined to talk to you if they think that you're making that connection with them and you're smiling at them. Then maybe they might feel either one, that you know them, or two, that you wanna get to know them. My fourth approach at coming to these networking events and making them work for me is coming with a purpose. You can come with a list of ideas or purposes like well, who you want to meet. You might not find that person, they might not be there, but they might. But if they're not, then just come with one purpose and that's to try and make at least one connection with somebody. What, um, if it's not a connection, then maybe it's to like get an idea, to brainstorm, to to ask questions to other vendors and ask them, what do you get out of these events? What do these events do for you? How do you use them? Which brings me to my fifth um, tip for networking is always, always, always follow up. These events are great when you actually follow up and do something with the network or the connect that you made. Just a quick email and make it personal. Don't send some type of canned email, but just send an email just saying, hey, I saw you at that networking event. Um, we didn't really get a whole lot of time to chat, but I'm really interested in what you have to offer or I really want to get to know you. Let's set up a time to meet one-on-one -on -one, and then you schedule the time ask, or ask them what's convenient for them. Plan to meet with them. This way you have a little bit of time to kind of prepare for this meeting. And either if you're uncomfortable meeting new people, if you're more of an introvert and you're just like, well, 
um, I'm more of an introvert, I don't really like this, but I gotta make this happen, then set it on your terms and let them know that. Say, I'm kind of an introvert, but I really wanna make this connect with you. And most people understand that, especially in this day and age. Like, we are in a time where social media and email, everything is just like, everything's on online and it's not in person. And so sometimes, like, we have a hard time making those connections in person. There are so many ways to connect with people now that you could definitely make that connect um, in another way than, than just planning that meeting. But whatever it is, follow up with them, whether it's through social media or whether it's one-on-one -on -one in some type of meeting. For me personally, it always works to plan a meeting with them, make it convenient for them, we'll go to their, um, you know, either to their work um, or to a place that's close to where they work. If you're gonna catch lunch, if that's easier for them, um, or if you want to maybe tour the facility, whatever the case may be, reach out to them, make it convenient for them, and just, just continue with that follow-up. Okay, so I just got home, and I talked to David while I was on the road, and him and Luna are outside. He set up the little swimming pool for her, so I'm gonna go out there and take a peek at them. I can hear that, let's see. Oh my goodness, look at them. So crazy. 